Well, here I am in Sofia, just waiting for my transfer to Bantigo, getting the Traventura shuttle, which is really good value for money. So just walking up the main street now, up to the gondola. If you look up in the, the distance there, you might be able to make out the top of the first run. So, there's no snow at Ansco itself. However, it starts at the gondola. So, let's crack on. So here we are at the Bundesliga Poliana, which it's up to the mid station from Bansko. Avoided the gondola, it looked a little bit busy, so jumped in one of the buses. 10 lev, which is about four pounds, so it's a bit of a bargain. So from here, we're at 1600 or thereabouts. We can get the Banda Zetra there up to 2232, or we can get the Kolaski up to 1914. So, this is midpoint. We do have a bit of snow, looks quite busy, really warm. So here we are, mile 180. This is just up from the mid station. It's quite busy. <laughs> ski road that runs down from 1635 to Bensko. Isn't it a bad place? So that's the ski road behind me, which is pretty cool. Takes you down from the mid station back to Bensko town, which is just behind me there. Yeah, it's quite a cool little run actually. It's a little bit soft paced, uh, so I've uh, just stuck up a little bit here, but if you're on skis, then you're going to be able to ski yourself straight into the town. So, all good. Could do some snow, but all the runs are open, so all good. Okay, so let's crack on, and we'll see what tomorrow brings from Bansko in the southern Rila Mountains. So my hotel is the Kalev Dua, and it is just a short walk down to get up to town from here. It's around about 600, 700 meters to the gondola uh, and the main town as well. So this is a really good and easy place to stay. Very nice, good accommodation, bit of breakfast if you want it or you can get breakfast in town. So let's crack on up through the town. So this is the central part here that takes you up to the town. Down the bottom end is more the old town, and then the new town and the gondola are straight ahead up here. It's so warm today. It's probably another 10 degrees, hence why we've got the t-shirt on again. Unbelievable. It's a nice brisk walk up to get the gondola. There's a crossroads at the top, and the gondola is just the other side of the crossroads. So, lots and lots of ski shops and supermarkets. All right, there, so here we are in Bensko. This is in the southwestern Rila Mountains. And it's around about two and a half hour transfer from Sofia. So what about Bansko then? So this is a resort, sits at 930 meters and goes up to 2,600. There are 68 kilometers of piece split between six blue, two orange, 11 red, and two black. <laughs> so you can see it's ridiculously warm today, hence the reason I'm here in the t-shirt and I've got my hoodie 
tucked into my backpack behind me. So what about Bansko then? Well, Bansko itself is dominated by the gondola. And if you've done any research, you'll know that that gondola is the only gondola that will take you up to the midpoint. So Bandarishka Poliana, 1635 meters, and that is where you will get all of the other lifts to take you across the mountain and hope to enjoy the 68 kilometers of piste available. There is another option. You can get uh, a minibus or some of your hotels will organize transfers up the mountain. I mean, I picked up a ticket right outside the gondola station for a little minibus that whipped me up the mountain. It was 10 lev, which is a bargain. It's about four pounds sterling, 15 minutes. I was up there. I was in the queue, probably no longer than 15 minutes. So it's another alternative and it's cheap as chips. So that's your main look at Bansko itself. So as is always the case with Bulgaria, it's really good value for money and that's why so many people obviously choose to come here. And I still think it's really good value for money. The food's really good and the drinks are really well priced. Not that I'm a drinker, but if you are a drinker, then the local beer is really good. Bandalishka Poliana up from the base station at 935 up to 1635. I took the gondola today. It took about 25 minutes to get up here in the gondola. There's no queue, a little bit of stop and start, but up here it is very, very mushy. My foot's gone down about a foot and a half. Thankfully, my boots are waterproof, but the temperatures are so mild. I mean, at base station, it's around about 12, 13 degrees. Up here, it's about six or seven. But further up the slope, it's not too bad. It's a little bit choppy, but there's this snub snow and the runs are open. So let's get on it. Oh, it's proper blowing the hoolie up here. So about 2,300, I'm gonna work my way down. I'm trying to blow you off your feet up here. So this is at the very top, this is uh, 2529, you can see the bauble over the background and we're going to go back down to Bansko 935. So here we are, Bandarishka Poliana 1635 and we're pretty Missed it out up here, so the visibility isn't much better once you get up to 2,000 plus meters. So, just have to be a little bit more cautious on the way down. But there you go, that's the weather for you. Can't do anything about the weather. Let's make the most of it before this snow melts away. So, Bansko, as my trip comes to an end what's it like is it worth coming to Bansko well as is the case with Bulgaria it's great value for money boarding and skiing as long as the conditions are here as I found out last year when I went to Borovets and it turned into a winter wonderland so that was a great trip down there but Bansko so Bansko considerably larger than Borovets and obviously classed as a city here so you can tell that there's two ends to it. You've got the skiing end and then obviously you've got the city end, but the skiing area and the bars and the clubs, it's just about everything here. Um, so if the skiing isn't great or the conditions aren't great, there's lots of other things to do here. So it depends on what you want out of your skiing break. If it's a little bit of skiing and a little bit of everything else, then coming to Bansko is gonna be right up your street. So really good, certainly worth come into Bansko, find yourself a deal, as is the case um, with any skiing break that you go on, it's all about the conditions. So the conditions haven't been great across the whole of the Rila Mountains um, this season. However, certainly all of the slopes are open here and the ski road is still open that runs you down from 
1635 down to Bansko itself. So there you have it. Come to Bansko, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Certainly uh, worth a look. And if you've never been skiing or boarding before, then it's probably a great introduction to your skiing and boarding. So take care, enjoy your winter sports, be safe out there from a very mild spring-like Bansko in the Rila Mountains, Bulgaria.